Welcome to Literary and Jury Charge Practice. Let's start out with reading some of our Who Moved My Cheese? The Adventures of Him and Ha and, oh my gosh, what's the other? Sniff and Scurry. <laughs> All right. So where were we? Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Ha just shook his head in disbelief. He too had counted on finding cheese at Cheese Station C. He stood there for a long time, frozen with shock. He was just not ready for this. Him was yelling something, but Ha didn't want to hear it. He didn't want to deal with what was facing him, so he just turned and tuned everything out. The little people's behavior was not very attractive or productive, but it was understandable. Finding cheese wasn't easy and it meant a great deal more to the little people than just having enough of it to eat every day. <clears throat> Finding cheese was the little people's way of getting what they thought they needed to be happy. They had their own ideas of what cheese meant to them depending on their taste. For some Finding cheese was having material things. For others, it was enjoying good health or developing a spiritual sense of well-being. For Ha, cheese just meant feeling safe, having a loving family someday, and living in a cozy cottage on Cheddar Lane. To him, cheese was becoming a big cheese in charge of others and owning a big house atop Camembert Hill. All right, I think, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Camembert, it's spelled C A M. E M B E R T. I think that's a type of cheese. All right. 
we did have a maybe possibly a, a, a challenging word spiritual in this in this little section of the book spiritual cozy cottage understandable productive all right we'll move on let's do some jury charge <clears throat> this is one I'll carry on here with Bart Bart Bell and some of the other words in here are hypothetical question hypothetical question conspiracy secretly confined secretly confined okay here we go <clears throat> ready intent to cause the child to be secretly confined must be found as a fact before you can find the defendant guilty of being a party to this action you cannot look into his mind to see the intent but as i mentioned before you may determine it from all the facts in evidence concerning this crime you may consider his conduct or any statements he made to the police which may help define his state of mind if you are satisfied that the prosecution has met its burden of proof, you should find the defendant guilty of being a party to the crime of kidnapping. If you are not truly satisfied, you must find the defendant not guilty if you find bart bell guilty you must answer one more question did bart bell commit this offense with the intent of demanding that the child's parents pay money in order to obtain the return of the child before you may answer this question yes the state must show you beyond a reasonable doubt that bart bell committed this offense with the 
intent to collect a ransom. This intent must be proven if it is proven from his acts and his words bearing on his intent. Okay, we'll, we'll take a little break from this one. Do a little a little bit from our our cheese book. Okay, back to the cheese book. Here we go. Because cheese was important to them, the two little people spent a long time trying to decide what to do. All they could think of was to keep looking around cheese Station C to see if the cheese was really gone. While Sniff and Scurry had quickly moved on, Hem and Ha continued to Hem and Ha. They ranted and raved at the injustice of it all. Ha started to get depressed. How, what would happen if the cheese wasn't there tomorrow? He had made future plans based on this cheese. The little people couldn't believe it. How could this have happened? No one had warned them. It wasn't right. It was not the way things were supposed to be. Him and Ha went home that night hungry and discouraged. But before they left, Ha wrote on the wall, The more important your cheese is to you, the more you want to hold on to it. The next day, him and Ha left their homes and returned to Cheese Station C again, where they still expected somehow to find their cheese. Just just so you know how this how this is like actually spelled in the book. We have cheese station C. So it's capital C H 
E E S E. Then we have new word station, capital S T A T I O N, and then C, just the a capital C. And there's space. So cheese space stage station space C. So that's all caps. Cheese station C. And then we have hem and ha. Hem is H E M. Excuse me. I might sneeze. Sorry. Hem is H E M and ha is H A W. Hem and ha. And then sniff and scurry. Sniff is capital S N I F F. Scurry is capital S C U R R Y. Okay, well, we'll leave those. We'll leave them for now, and let's let's work on a another jury charge here for a few more minutes. Here we go. Negligence is the doing of something which a reasonably prudent person would not do. It can mean the failure to do something which a reasonably prudent person would do. You must examine the circumstances and determine whether these circumstances were similar to those shown by the evidence. You must determine whether this applies to the defendant. You must determine whether the defendant acted in a way that was negligent or whether the defendant acted in a way that only was a part of the negligence that was involved. Liability may be on both sides. For this reason, the liability of both parties must be considered. You must consider the liability of the plaintiff as well. You must consider whether the plaintiff acted in any way that would show that he also did a part in causing the accident to happen. You must determine whether the defendant exercised do care. You must consider the question of do care. Do care is the reasonable amount of care that a person would exercise under a given set of circumstances. And do care is simply D U E, and then cap, sorry, the new word C A R E. And it's it's not capitalized. It's just do care D U E, and then new word capital 
New word, C-A-R-E. I mean, it would only, you would capitalize do if it came at the beginning of a sentence, but otherwise you would not. Alrighty, well that will conclude our practice for today. Thank you.